That looks a lot more comfortable than what Clark usually wears. Oh my god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Loving it, yeah. It's my day off, so I thought I'd wear something. Oh, no, of course. No way. What kind of clothing will we see Clark in in season four? <laughs> uh, we're going back to the, uh, the bit of the old Arca here, which is kind of nice. I feel like I'm, uh, I'm back to season one Clark, which is nice. So where do we pick up then for your character? Everyone was saying it's a kind of a direct pickup, is that right? So we see the four. Yeah, yeah, we're 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 picking up directly where we left off from. Um, but we've obviously just discovered that the world's gonna end again, which is great. Uh, <laughs> just another day on the ground. Um, and yeah, I mean, you know, this this whole season's mostly based around kind of how we're gonna deal with fighting an enemy that um, you know we can't go to war with. <laughs> So it's it's gonna prove very interesting. Clark's kind of the one that knows that the world is coming to an end. Um, when that kind of, what does she kind of do initially with that information, and is it something that people believe, or does she have to prove kind of it out? Well, it's something that she has to be really careful about because obviously she's just taken all these people out of a beautiful city where they were happy. <laughs> and brought them back into a world that's about to end. So she's. Uh, uh, she has to be very careful about uh, how she goes about telling people without starting a, a riot, basically. Clark and her mother have rarely been in the same place since the very beginning of the series. Will we see any more um, Clark Abbey stuff this season? Yeah, I, I think that will be there will be more more of that, which is great. Um, I mean, I live with Paige, and she's like one of my best friends, so <laughs> it's really nice to actually get to work with her again. Um, and I think that just Clark's and Clark and Abby's dynamic is is so interesting. There's a lot of turbulence there, um, so getting to kind of delve into that more is is pretty awesome. Last season, Clark was really a lone wolf, and she was really distancing herself from everyone that she knew and cared about. Are we going to see her kind of rely more on her friends and loved ones this season, or is she still pushing? Them? Yeah, no, I think I think you you will see more of her relying on. Uh, on her friends and family, which is good because um, A, Eliza missed working with them, and B, um, you know, it, it's it's kind of like the old crew being back together again. Like I said, like it, it feels like season one again, which is awesome. <laughs> is Clark going to be in mindset to actually follow anybody else at this point? It seems like she's made her own decisions for a couple seasons now, and when people didn't listen to her, things went really badly. So is she going to want to defer to somebody else's judgment, or is she going to take the stand and say, I'm the leader now? Um, I think she's definitely stepping up more and accepting herself as a leader, which is really great. It's really fun to kind of feel like she's asserting herself and, um, uh, you know, not really taking any sh stuff <laughs> from, <laughs> from, uh, from, from people who don't, who don't know as well as she does exactly what's going on. At the end of the season, um, last season, Clark has the flame still, and Luna were rejected to yeah. become commander. Can you preview a little bit about where that stands in the first episode? Well, or two? yeah, it's, it's interesting because the flame, I mean, now that uh, the City of Light has been shut down and, and, and the flame has kind of become a little bit obsolete in the way that, it, you know, it, it's not going to work the way that it, it would. Um, given there is no kind of virtual world anymore. Um, so it, I think for Clark, the flame is still so important to her because she still believes that, I mean, it's it's Lexa. Um, and she, I mean, she just holds, she's holding on to it as a keepsake and it's still a very important, it plays a very important role in grounder, you know, the spirituality. So her having it, certainly, it still holds power, but it doesn't, it, it don't do the same stuff as it used to. <laughs> so they won't define the commander in this season? Um, you know what, I actually don't know. Um, they haven't told me that yet. Uh, <laughs> but um, but I think as far as I know, like, the flame, as, as far as grounders are concerned, it, that, whoever has it is still, is the, it will be the commander, so. Um, Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what, like, it, uh, how much of a role it's going to play as far, but I, I hope it kind of comes back into play. It's a very powerful, tiny little thing. 
For most of last season, Clark and Bellamy were on separate <coughs> trajectories until they finally crisscrossed at the end. How is their relationship going to develop in season four? Um, I think, I mean, they're kind of, they're, they're on the same team again, which is really cool, and you saw that at the end of season three. Um, uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're a real team, and I, I really like um, kind of where their storyline is going. There's a lot of, like, mutual respect, and um, they're, they're really <coughs> kind of sharing the, the leadership role, so that's cool. Is Clark going to want to hold John Hobb responsible for the part he played with Allie last season? Is she going to hold him to a certain level of, hey, you brought this upon everyone? I think everyone is a little bit pissed off with John <laughs> Um But he, I mean, with everyone on, on this show and with every character, and what I love is that, you know, everyone's just trying to do the best thing for their people, and he truly believed that it was the best thing for his people. We didn't, but um, but I I think Clark sees that. I think she's been through enough, and she's seen uh, enough people make bad choices that there's always forgiveness there. As you said, Clark has been through so much, as with everyone on this show. Um, but there there are sometimes these moments of more. We had um, you know a lot of your friends and the jeep listening to music at the beginning of last season. Yeah, Will we one. get any moments like that for Clark in season four, or is she just oh, all business all the Because I do I do remember telling Jason I wanted to smile more. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> but we're only halfway through. Um, I think there are actually some, there are a few like lighter moments which I'm really looking forward to people seeing because I, I mean we kind of got as dark as dark can be last season and almost to a point where I think people were like come on guys let's just see some characters enjoying themselves. So um, that's definitely happening this season. Whether or not it's Clark, sadly I don't know. Um, but. Uh, overall, I, there are a lot of characters who are going to kind of um, lighten up, which I, I, I'm happy about. Clark's kind of always had an open heart throughout each season. She kind of has romances or relationships with different people, and last season was really rough. So is she is she going to have like a really closed heart this season, or is she going to be willing to I, go there again? I wish I, I, wish I knew. Um, as far as I know... I mean, she's, uh, there's just so much else going on that, like, uh, she doesn't really have time for, you know, relationships right now, but, but uh, I think, you know, she's grieving for Lexa, and, uh, but at the same time, she's open to moving on, I guess. I don't know. I really want her to, like... Get it on with someone. <laughs> I do. I think it would be great. It, yeah, I, they 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 won't tell me if that's happening. We're reading um, a lot of the other clans this season. Uh, who have been kind of the most interesting? Who's been the most surprising? What are some of the new dynamics you know, what do you think? Um, well, I mean, we've got Nadia back playing Luna, which is awesome, and I, I think we've all just had a ball working with her. Um, I'm getting to work with Richard a lot more, which is fantastic because he's just the most phenomenal actor. Uh, and Murphy and Clark really haven't, you know, spent all that much time together over the last three years. So um, that's been really, really fun. Um, and there are some other kind of unusual pairings, which is great. I mean, the thing about having such a gigantic cast is that um, some of us have only ever been in like one scene together over three years, and like are getting to work with each other again just creates a whole new kind of energy, which I love. Um, and it's kind of, it's surprising and it's fun. So yeah, I think you're going to see a lot, a lot more, kind of, a lot more odd coupling. You know. There was a fun to watch, yet challenging dynamic between Roan and Clark last season. Yes. Um, are we going to see them grow to be more confidants this season, working in politics a bit more? Yeah, yeah, I think, I think we are going to see, see them definitely kind of, uh, team up a bit. Um, it's been so fun having Zach back because he's just, I, like, he plays Rowan so perfectly. Um, and I, I, again, like working with an actor who you haven't really worked with before, 
uh, last year, I was I was like, oh, this like this has created like an interesting dynamic that wasn't on paper, which I love, um, and I think they've really kind of seen that and taken it into the next season, which is great. So yeah. How so? Well, I can't tell. <laughs> was it fun getting to shoot in downtown Vancouver for once and have Alicia so back? It was so weird. It was so weird. I mean, all the other CW shows shoot downtown all the time. Um, and we're always out in the forest or here in beautiful Langley. Um, so I was really excited to A, be really close to home, um, and, uh, and B, just see what it was like to kind of shoot like in, in the city. But it was crazy because... Uh, one per I think you know one person saw us and then it was just like tweeted it and then we had like hundreds of fans like holding up signs and like you know watching us shoot and taking all these photos and like from like buildings like you know I, I've never experienced that and also like shutting down like you know peak hour traffic for me to like walk down a street like it was kind of surreal like they had to make the city look like it was completely uh, empty and just walking around downtown Vancouver um, with no cars or people around, just having me and the crew was like kind of bizarre and awesome. I just wonder how they do it in New York. That must be <laughs> ten times cooler, but still. <laughs> <laughs>